Hey. Hey. You a dreamer? Yeah. I haven't seen too many of you around lately. Things have been tough lately for dreamers. They say dreaming's dead. And no one does it anymore. It's not dead, it's just it's been forgotten. Removed from our language. Nobody teaches it, so no one knows it exists. The dreamer's banished to obscurity. Well, I'm trying to change all that, and I hope you are too. By dreaming every day. Dreaming with our hands and dreaming with our minds. Our planet is facing the greatest problems it's ever faced. Ever. So whatever you do, don't be bored. This is absolutely the most exciting time we could have possibly hoped to be alive. And things are just starting. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain. But you feel it. You felt it your entire life. That there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there. Like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. People of the world, allow me to once again introduce myself as anonymous, for I am nothing more than an idea. An idea of true freedom, online as well, as the real life realm. The idea of swift justice in defense of such freedoms, and a world free of oppression and intolerance. A world focused on living freely, rather than living according to what you can afford. While I know there are those of you out there that may argue if you are not happy with the money you make, or the life that you have, this is simply your own fault. You must realize and acknowledge the fact that this day and age presents a vast barrier for many families and individuals. The financial constraints and limits have grown diversely in size while opportunities have diminished. Any train of thought that dismisses this fact is, quite frankly, either selfish or quite simply delusional. However I must also acknowledge how easy it must be to slip into such a state of apathetic delusion of reality, given the vast amounts of entertainment that is pumped into today's cultures and society. It is quite easy to lose oneself in the system of things. We, like many of you, appreciate the comforts of everyday routine, the security of the familiar, the tranquility of repetition. I enjoy them as much as any individual. But in the spirit of commemoration, thereby those important events of the past usually associated with someone's death, or the end of some awful bloody struggle, a celebration of a nice holiday, we thought we could mark this June the 15th, a day that normally is no different than any other. By taking some time out of our daily lives to sit down and have a little chat. There are of course those who do not want us to speak. We suspect even now, orders are being shouted into telephones, and men with guns and fancy technology will soon be on scouring the interwebs searching for anything related to Anonymous. Why? Because while the truncheon may be used in lieu of conversation, words will always retain their power. Words offer the means to meaning, and for those who will listen, the enunciation of truth. And the truth is, there is something terribly wrong with this world, isn't there? cruelty and injustice, intolerance and oppression. And where once you had the freedom to object, to think and speak, as you saw fit, you now have censors and systems of surveillance coercing your conformity and soliciting your submission. 
How did this happen? Who's to blame? Well certainly there are those more responsible than others and they will be held accountable, but again truth be told, if you're looking for the guilty, you need only look into a mirror. I know why you did it I know you were afraid. Who wouldn't be? War, terror, disease. There were a myriad of problems which conspired to corrupt your reason and rob you of your common sense. Fear got the best of you, and in your panic you turned to your governments. They promised you order, they promised you peace. And all they demanded in return was your silent, obedient consent. Anonymous is seeking to end that silence. Beginning today we are initiating the beginning of a system of events we will simply refer to as the plan. The plan will commence upon this 15th day of June, 2011, and will continue for approximately one year, in the course of three separate phases. Phase 1 begins now. In this time, you are encouraged to educate yourselves on the injustices occurring in this world. Seek out violations of freedom and human rights. Become familiar with the corruption within your system. Discover the enemy of true freedom. Discover the oppressors. The most important step of phase 1 is to spread this message by sharing this video and those that preceded it. Make your own films or videos, artwork, music, literature resonate the voice of freedom and justice through your own creativity and bring others to this movement. Street artists, you have the ability to reach millions with your art and message in your own populated centers. Your canvas is there, my friends begin your work. Write the tales of oppression and injustice in your blogs. Tell the world how we can for once break free from this system of enslavement. Depict the images of freedom and truth through your art and film. Spread the message of the plan with your graffiti. Share this message with the world and bring them to stand amongst us as we rise up from the ashes of the downtrodden and unprivileged. Tell the elite we are here and we are coming for them. Spread the message through blogs, social networking and video diaries. Remember words offer means to meanings and the enunciation of the truth. Let the truth be heard. Educate yourselves in ways of becoming more self-sufficient. Learn and acquire the tools to free yourself from the system. Invest more heavily in precious metals rather than stocks, paper fiat currencies, or other products of the financial establishment. Discover your green thumb and appreciate your ability to grow your own produce. The sky is the limit and the only barrier is your own reliance on a system that thrives on your dependence. Hackers within Anonymous begin selecting low-priority targets that have violated freedoms both in the online realm and the offline realm as well. Stand guard to our friends taking their stance in the world and ensure they are supported in any means necessary. As always, remain vigilant. We must all learn to walk the walk, if you will. We can all tell tales of grandeur and extravagance. It is time we start becoming our own legends. It is time we start bettering ourselves first, so that we may focus on the greater challenge at hand with intelligence and confidence. As of this 15th day of June, 2011, we are pleased to bring you the beginnings of a web platform for us all to meet and converse. To share ideas and recommendations over the course of the next year and the three phases that will be unfolding. If you feel as we feel and have found something inside you pushing you toward acting upon the plan, go there and become an active member. Educate yourself and share your thoughts and ideas with others so that you may help others on this same journey. Continue to spread this video by all possible venues and ensure we are all doing our part to bring the same opportunity to all that we can. Together we can make a difference. Together we can accomplish something real. Phase 2 will be initiated in approximately 5 months. Continue the efforts and the focus of Phase 2 will be presented when that time comes. We expect there will be large numbers of people participating in the plan by that point. We will prevail. So if you've seen nothing, if the crimes of these governments remain unknown to you then we would suggest you allow this year to pass unmarked. But if you see what we see, if you feel as we feel, and if you would seek as we seek, then you too are anonymous, stand beside us this year as we execute the plan. And together we shall give them a year that shall never, ever be forgot. We are anonymous. United as one. Divided by zero. Phase one. Initiated.
The resistance is here.